Hey, hello, you're stuck in traffic with Wolf Gorlick, couple minute riff on IT and IT security. Today, looking at cookie forging attacks and authentication. So, uh, as of uh, this morning, Yahoo has been battered by breach after breach after breach, and now the CEO, Marissa Mayer, has, uh, has announced that she will not be getting her bonus, it will be instead be going to her team. Seems fair, seems fair. I'm not going to speculate on any of that, um, but I will point you to the information on how this attack occurred, which was basically the bad guys getting a peek at Yahoo's source code, and basically there being a flaw in that source code that allowed them to use a cookie, forge that cookie, spoof a cookie, whatever word you want to use, to log in and then get access to the account. So tip to you, if you are uh, auditing you know, applications that your team produces, or if you're responsible for building applications, look for those magic cookies, right? So oftentimes we think about uh, authentication as, as something static, but there's this concept of step-up authentication, right? Where if you're in a different place, or from a different computer, or a different context, you have more um, requirements to authenticate. Great idea, perfect, I love it. However, a little checkbox that says, I am me, right? I log into this computer all the time, creates a cookie on your computer. That's the way it works. And the next time you log in, if you're from, you know, a similar IP address, uh, or, and, sorry, a similar IP address, and uh, the same computer, the same browser settings, same cookie, that cookie gets passed, gets validated, and it comes back, and they're like, oh, you're you, you're in. No password needed, no username needed. Now, this sounds great, this sounds fantastic, until you remember that, hey, criminals have a long history of man in the middling web web uh, sessions. And then, when that traffic goes back, and you can use this um, any number of ways if you wanna play with it, like beef, uh, web goat, anything like that, um, web bugs, you stop that traffic, right? Server says, who are you? And I say, I am blah, and that session goes out, stops at that proxy. And you can see, here's your header, Here's your browser's information. Here's your user agent string. Here's your cookie value. You can edit that, of course, in that HTTP string, so you're sending that information back, thereby forging, falsing, whatever you want to use, um, faking out the web server to think it's not you, it's someone else. This usually isn't a problem unless you know exactly what the step up authentication is looking at, which is why that second component of getting access to the source code was so important. But of course, we live in a day and age where so many apps are open source, and so you can pull it on GitHub or any number of things. There's other ways to figure out what those values should be. It's not easy, um, but it's also not so difficult that's outside the realm of your typical determined attacker. So when you're building your systems, what can you do? You can uh, A, be aware of it, B, make sure that you're using other things, not just those cookie values, things that are a little bit harder to spoof, maybe IP addresses, which is slightly more difficult, um, login history, right? Uh, C, don't have these cookies have massive amounts of access, such as what it seems that happened in Yahoo, which was there were super users that had access to all accounts, right, were there then able to pull it down. Right? Limit, if you're going to use this mechanism, limit what they can do and use the step-up principles to force authentication, relogging in, using multi-factor, what have you, when they're trying to access privileged functions. Think about like Amazon where, yeah, I can browse around, but the minute I hit the shopping cart, bam, I'm prompted to give my password again. Make sense? What do you think? Any thoughts on the Yahoo breach? Any thoughts on cookie authentication? Comments or social media? Hit me up and uh, I'll talk to you tomorrow.